So right now I'm going to pick up Danny and Gerald. We are then going to drive four hours to a new skate park in London, which looks absolutely incredible. And I've seen a few clips online. It looks like probably one of the best skate parks I've seen in the UK for a long, long time. But because it's quite a long journey, we didn't want to drive four hours, skate all day, then drive four hours home. We've decided to drive to London tonight, stay in a hotel overnight, and then skate tomorrow. It just makes more sense and then drive home after the skate. The, the weather is insane today. It's uh, so hot and tomorrow I think it might be the hottest day of the year so I imagine the skate park is going to be absolutely rammed with not only skaters but mostly scooters which will probably be hell but the skate park is huge so it might be okay, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway I'm going to get going now so, so let's get started. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the pond. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some We're about half the way to London, so we're gonna uh, get some food and then have a little skate just to stretch the legs and things before we carry on. About two hours left to go, I think. So what are we doing? Oh, we're getting Leon, mate. They're working on it. Yeah, probably. Switch heel of the day. Cheers, mate. Oh. I'm a follower. Welcome to the crib, this is the hotel room tour. So here we have the bathroom. Lovely little place. Got some lights on the mirrors when I want to uh, some nice selfies in here and that. Disposable bag here in case you don't want to do your bits in the toilet, you can do it in your disposable bag. We've got jazz practicing for tomorrow. <laughs> some very questionable um, maneuvers there by Gerald. This is the first time Danny's been in a hotel before. He's never been to a hotel before. So he's this making is, his this is his first time. This is Danny's first time going to a hotel. Uh, so he's excited, you know. He got really excited when he saw the um, the, the Kenko coffee. <laughs> we're going to bed, lads, because we're getting up early. None of this, none of this staying up watching the television. We've also got hair dryer in there. Clearly for mine and Gerald's, uh, when dry our <laughs> hair in the morning, you know. <laughs> that <just broke. laughs> yeah. Stinks like. It doesn't. It smells nice. It smells, it, it smells really good. I'll see you later. 
We've just arrived. I'm off my rocker. Danny's off his rocker and Gerald's definitely off his rocker. The park looks pretty empty, which is nice. Nice, new, fresh skate park. Concrete looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. when you basically come into the park and there's the mini ramp section and this is the street section looks insane And then you've got this little bowl section, like kind of like snake run, concrete uh, thing, I don't even know what you call it. get further down the park you have this little death box run which looks pretty fun death box look kind of small actually which isn't bad and then the quarter pipe that you come up to at the end here it's, it's pretty weird. It's like it's like they tried to make a vert quarter pipe, but it's still at an angle. So it's like it's quite a weird quarter pipe, I would say. Not as a big deal or anything, but. And then when you come over here, you have the last section of the park, which is kind of like a beginner section. There's quarter pipes, a small grind pad, flat banks. Definitely aimed at beginners, which is kind of nice because a lot of the other park, especially the transition, is quite big. For beginners, the rest of the park is quite overwhelming. Maybe not the street section, but definitely the transition. This section's really nice. Probably what I'll spend a lot of the day on, to be honest. But we'll give it a go. We're going for the switch heel of the day, first switch heel. Oh. The weather is crazy, it's like 28 degrees today, so far too hot, I'm sweating, look at that, disgusting. But we're gonna try the uh, street section now, give it a proper skate.
quite overwhelming when you get here to even kind of figure out what you want to skate or what to go on because there's so much stuff. But we're really enjoying it so far. It's been a really fun skate. It's getting quite busy now though. There's probably maybe 50, 60 people here. It's getting quite packed even for a park as big as this. We're probably gonna skate here for a couple more hours, get some last clips in and then uh, head home. What do you reckon to this part, Gerald? Uh, eight. Um, eight out of ten. Eight. What's your favourite part? If it wasn't as hot, I feel like I'd do more on the street bit. Mm. My favourite part was the... Uh, no, I like the street bit. I think the street bit was sick. I think the best thing about this park, though, for me, is that uh, there's I literally, like, 90% of the people here are uh, skateboards or skaters. When we normally go to parks, it's, like, mostly scooters these days. It's nice to go to a park where it's, like, literally full of skaters. It's just got a nice, nice feeling to it, innit, lads? Yeah, Nice it was, feeling. It was, yeah. And people were talking to each other. It felt nice just to be around loads kissing of skaters for once. People weren't kissing and cuddling. Gerald wishes they were kissing and cuddling, yeah, but they weren't. But I think this part was sick. If it wasn't as hot, I'd probably skate longer. I think in general, this part was like insane. Best park I've ever been to. Probably, probably up there, the best in the UK, like really, when you look at the minute. Like, I, I think Stoke's got nothing on this park. I think this park is like, so much better. Stoke's yeah, like a bit old now. Older. And I think you'd struggle to find a better park in the UK really at the moment. Since it's new as well, it's smooth as smooth as anything. I was gonna swear then. The street sections try to like replicate actual street skating like with the ground. It's not like super smooth, it's kind of like maybe how you Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the uh the ground ledges are not like perfect that you'd get a skate park. They're like perfect ones you'd find in the streets, you know, like really sick. But I give today a solid uh Eight, eight and a half to nine, eight and a half to nine. I think it was a good skate. I think that's it though, we're calling it a day. Gerald's currently doing whatever that is. Now we've got a four hour drive home to London, uh, sorry, four hour drive home to Blackpool, which is gonna be fun. Bust my knee, bust my foot. So maybe a painful drive home, I don't know.